Well, I do believe it's time for another animals video. Hello everybody, Nikki Marr here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you've all had a fabulous week and are ready for yet another fun ranking video. And today I have a really fun one planned. I have been so excited to do this video for a while now. Now you all may know that I have previously ranked some Disney pets on this channel, as well as all of Disney's iconic sidekick characters. But today we have a little bit different of a topic on the docket, as Disney has some incredible leading characters that also happen to be animals and who don't necessarily fit in the topics of either of those past previous videos. And it is about time that they got the spotlight that they deserve. So today we are going to be talking all about Disney's iconic leading animal characters. If you're new here, hi, my name's Nikki Mara and I am a professional Disney adult and Disney content creator here on YouTube. And I also make magical content over on TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. And you can check me out on all of those other platforms at Nikki Mara with two Y's and two R's. And if you're new to my channel here on YouTube, make sure to hit subscribe down below so that way you never miss out on magic from me. Because at this point, I have new long form videos coming out every Friday at 5 p.m. And you are not gonna wanna miss some of the ones I have coming up. <laughs> but yes, today I have compiled a list of 35 of my favorite and not so favorite leading Disney animal characters. And we are gonna break them all down, talk about the good, the bad, and the role that they play, not only in their movie, but also for the Walt Disney Company. And as always on this channel, we are first gonna get into some quick disclaimers and conditions for the list today, but if you would like to jump right into the ranking, then you can head right to this timestamp. First and foremost for our disclaimers, I am not associated with the Walt Disney Company, I do not speak for the brand or the company, and all of the opinions in this video are just my own. And secondly, I welcome any and all opinions surrounding these incredible Disney characters and Disney movies down in my comment section. So make sure to leave all of your thoughts down below, I'm so excited to find out who your favorite Disney animal characters are. And finally for the disclaimers, spoiler warning for all of the movies that we are going to be talking about today. So if you don't want any specific Disney movie spoiled for you today, you can just skip right on to the next number and you shouldn't have anything spoiled. And next we move on to our conditions for the list today. The characters that we are going to be ranking on today's list are animated animal characters created by the Walt Disney Company. They have to be a leading character in their Disney movie, meaning one of the top three characters that are billed in the credits. They can be speaking or non-speaking characters, but they must play a central role in their story. And lastly for the conditions, I am intentionally excluding a few characters, so let me just get through that list really quickly. Today's list will not include the characters of Kenai from Brother Bear or Kuzco from Emperor's New Groove, as they are both human characters that are turned into animals. We will also not be including the characters of Koda, Kriki, Mushu, Jose Carioca, Panchito, Sisu, or the majority of our Hundred Acre Woods friends, as all of those characters appeared on my Ranking Disney Sidekicks video, which I will link above. And the reason those characters aren't going to make it onto today's list is because I am limiting the list to 35 characters. I'm prioritizing characters that I haven't yet spoken about, but keep in mind that I will have characters on this list that I've talked about in other videos. And so if you'd like to hear me talk about any of those characters that I'm excluding for today, you can definitely find them in my other Rankings videos. And the reason that I do limit my list is that I really like to talk in depth about each of these characters and the role that they play. And for the topics we're going to be talking about today, it's just going to be way too much to have too many characters on today's list. But with all of those disclaimers and conditions out of the way, I believe we are ready to start ranking some iconic Disney animal leading characters. Oh, and really quick before we get started, I do want to go over the brief touching points that we're going to talk about with each character. The three points we're going to be talking about are what animal is the character. We're also going to be talking about how they affect the plot of their story. And we're also going to be talking about their impact on the Walt Disney Company. And I think touching on these three topics in specific is going to give us a very well-rounded view of each of these characters. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a snack and a drink, and let's get into today's ranking list. Alrighty, starting off the list today, all the way down at the bottom at number 35, is Chicken Little from the movie Chicken Little. Now Chicken Little is obviously a chicken, but he is a talking animal and the titular character of his movie. And if you've seen my ranking Disney animated movies video before, you guys will know that I am not a fan of Chicken Little. I honestly have a really hard time believing that the Disney company put out this movie. It's just so vastly different from any other movie that they've ever put out. 
and I really have a hard time enjoying a lot of these characters and the plotline. So yes, Chicken Little is the subject of this movie and therefore we follow him throughout all of the events of the movie. Chicken Little believes that a piece of the sky has fallen and tries to get the entire town to believe him, but they don't. And as the movie goes on, we realize that it is actually a UFO. It's just a very strange plotline and not one that I particularly enjoy. <laughs> and as for his impact on the Walt Disney Company, it is little to none. We really see no park representation of Chicken Little or any of the other characters. And when talking about this movie and the characters, they're definitely deemed by the community to be quite obscure. So yeah, overall Chicken Little just isn't my favorite. So we are going to take the time to mention him in a ranking video, but unfortunately he doesn't rank any higher than the last position on my list. I'm so sorry. Don't get me wrong, he is cute. I like his character design, his glasses are cute, but the character really doesn't do anything for me. But next we move on, on up to number 34 on my list who is Copper from The Fox and the Hound. Now, Copper is one of the two titular characters. He is the hound dog, and he is a speaking character. Copper is owned by the antagonist in this movie, who is Amos Slade, and when he's little, he really enjoys playing with his friend Todd. The two of them grow a really close friendship, but unfortunately, as they grow up, they are forced into these roles of predator and prey. Copper is taught by his owner that he is meant to be a hunting dog and that his friend Todd is the object of the hunt. And so it's really, really sad to see these friends fall apart. And while I don't think Copper is a bad character by any means, I really do see the friendship falling apart on his end because Todd is very emotionally invested all the way through the movie. And as for his impact on the Walt Disney Company, Again, not super big. We don't see a lot of park representation, mainly because this movie is very sad and very depressing, but I do like the character. I think he's very sweet and cute, and his actions at the end definitely redeem him. But next, we're moving on up to number 33 on my list, who is Dodger from Oliver and Company. Dodger is a speaking dog character. Now, the movie Oliver and Company is a loosely based twist on Oliver Twist, which is a famous musical tells the story of orphaned kitty Oliver, who ends up falling into a band of thieving dogs who is led by Dodger. Dodger is owned by the character Fagin and is loosely based on the character the Artful Dodger from the original Oliver Twist musical. He is witty, cool, confident, and kind of sly, but overall he just doesn't end up as one of my favorite characters on the list today. It's a very enjoyable movie, However, the characters are probably the weakest part of the movie for me. And overall, Dodger doesn't have the biggest impact on the Walt Disney Company, seeing as this movie really doesn't have any park presence, and it's definitely not one of Disney's most popular. And so Dodger goes at number 33 on my list today. But with that, we're gonna move on up to number 32 on my list, who is Judy Hopps from the movie Zootopia. Now we can already hear the really big outcry from all of my Zootopia fans, and Yes, it is true. Zootopia is not one of my favorite animated films from the Disney company, but it does have quite a lot of charm. I just don't necessarily find that charm in the characters. Judy is a speaking rabbit character who grows up wanting to become a cop. In her movie, Judy Hopps finds herself partnered up with a sly criminal who we'll talk about very soon, but she has to solve a case within the matter of days. I think Judy has a lot of great qualities such as confidence and she has a really great drive, and I can see why a lot of people would love this character. I personally am just not one of them. There are a lot of other characters in this movie that I am really drawn to, and we will definitely get into at least one of those on today's list. And overall, Judy Hopps has a considerable park presence. She can be seen in the Adventure Friends Cavalcade in the Magic Kingdom, as well as in several overseas parks. Zootopia even has a full ride and a full land overseas. So with that, we're gonna move on up to number 31 on my list, who is the character Oliver from the movie Oliver and Company. Now, Oliver is an adorable little orphaned kitty, and his movie, being based on the musical Oliver Twist, has Oliver taking the role of Oliver Twist himself. He finds himself teamed up with this ragtime band led by Dodger. The band of dogs, seeing that he is a very cute and innocent looking kitty, use him to pull off different heists, but eventually he finds himself in the care of the rich little girl named Jenny. However, other events in this movie have a very big impact on that arrangement. Overall, I think the character of Oliver is super cute. I really love his character design. But again, seeing as the movie Oliver and Company isn't the biggest and most promoted by the Disney company, and it doesn't have a park presence, he really can't fall any higher than number 31 on today's list. But I do like him quite a bit. And next we move on up to number 30 on my list, 
Who is Nick Wilde from the movie Zootopia? Now, Nick Wilde is a speaking fox character from the movie Zootopia, and he is the sly bandit that Judy Hopps has to pair up with in order to solve the case. Nick is a very cunning character, he is very interesting, and I really like his character design. The reason why Nick ranks over Judy for me is that he has some really great moments of comedy in this movie, and a lot of it comes from his dry delivery. I really love the banter that he brings between the partnership. As for his park presence, much like his counterpart Judy, he does appear in the Adventure Friends Cavalcade at the Magic Kingdom, and can also be seen in the Overseas Parks. And so this sly little fox is going to land at number 30 on today's list. Next we move on up to number 29 on my list, who is Baloo from The Jungle Book. Now Baloo is the speaking bear character in this movie. In the movie, he finds himself caring for the character Mowgli and teaches him to loosen up and live life in a more fun way. He does have quite a big impact on the movie, seeing as he helps Mowgli out of a lot of different situations, but overall he falls lower on today's list for me because he's not that responsible of a character. While I do like him and think he has some incredible music and other moments in this movie as well, he does seem to be quite a bumbling character, and so he falls lower on today's list. And as for his impact on the Walt Disney Company, he can be seen every day in the Adventure Friends Cavalcade, and also sometimes over in the Animal Kingdom at the Walt Disney World Resort. So although he's not the most prevalent character, to the Disney Company, he does show up here and there in different nighttime spectaculars. And next we're moving on up to number 28 on my list, not straying too far from the topic of bears, who is Little John from the movie Robin Hood. Now Little John is also a speaking bear character. He is the partner in crime of the titular character of this movie, and finds himself right alongside the main character stealing from the rich to help the poor. I do like Little John quite a bit, although he's definitely not my favorite character in this movie. A low fun fact about him is that he does share a few cells of animation with our previous character, Baloo. Oh, and speaking of, I would love to do a full video in the future talking about all of the moments in Disney movies with reused animation and reused audio. So if you guys are interested in that video, make sure to let me know down below because that's one I would absolutely love to do. But yes, while I love Little John, he honestly doesn't have the biggest impact on the Walt Disney Company, especially considering his movie doesn't really have a lot of park representation, and when it is represented, he's not necessarily the character that they're pushing forward. So while I do like him, again, he's going to fall lower on today's list. But prepare yourself for an overabundance of cuteness as we approach number 27 on today's list, who is Flower from the movie Bambi. I love Flower so much. He is so, so cute. Flower is a speaking skunk character, and my goodness, I love this character so much. And you might be wondering, if I love this character so much, why does he fall lower on the list? Well, he doesn't necessarily impact the plot as much as a lot of the other characters in this movie. And therefore, when this movie is incorporated into the Disney parks, this character isn't necessarily pushed to the front. So while I love seeing him in his movie and think he's absolutely adorable, his effect on the plot isn't necessarily the biggest, he sort of seems just like a regular side character. But seeing as he's one of the three leading characters, I definitely did want to include him in today's list. And next we move on up to number 26 on my list, who is Thomas O'Malley the Alley Cat from the movie The Aristocats. Now we have not only previously talked about Thomas O'Malley on my Ranking Disney Pets video, but also my Ranking Disney Parents video. Seeing as Thomas O'Malley is a speaking cat character who ends up as the adopted father of Marie, Toulouse, and Berlioz. Thomas O'Malley is an alley cat who finds himself caring very deeply for another group of little kittens. And not only the kittens, but also their mother, who we're going to talk about very shortly. <laughs> but yes, I really love Thomas O'Malley. I think he's a great character. His impact on the plot is undeniable. However, when it comes to the impact on the Walt Disney Company, again, it's not necessarily the biggest. The Aristocats isn't necessarily a movie that you see a lot in the Disney parks and doesn't really have any super iconic music, and so they really don't appear in any nighttime spectaculars or parades. Although very recently, Marie has appeared in the Adventure Friends cavalcade, so it is very nice to get to see her. So yes, I do love Thomas O'Malley, as he is a very sweet adopted father to these adorable three kittens, and I do really enjoy this character. Next we move on up to number 25 on my list, who is Duchess, also from the Aristocats. Now Duchess is the mother of the three kittens Marie, Toulouse, and Berlioz, and she ends up falling in love with Thomas O'Malley the alley cat, and after a very long adventure, the two find themselves living comfortably with their new, strong, and very cute family. Again, much like Thomas, she doesn't have a lot of park presence, which is why she does fall lower on the list, but I really do love Duchess, and I very much admire her parenting skills, as she's got her 
not hands, pauseful. <laughs> the next we move on up to number 24 on my list, who is the character Bolt from the movie Bolt. Now Bolt is a speaking dog character who believes he has superpowers. Bolt was raised on a movie set to believe that he is a super dog. He's never known the world outside of his movie franchise, and so when he ends up escaping the movie set and goes out into the real world, he finds out that he is actually a very normal dog. But through a series of events, he finds his way back to his owner, Penny, and he finds out that he was loved all along, not only for his powers, but also for who he is as a dog. I love Bolt. I think he is super cute. He has a really big impact on his movie. And so much like a lot of other characters on the list so far, he hasn't really had the biggest park presence. But I think he's super cute. I really love Bolt and yeah, he's gonna go at number 24. But next we move on up to number 23 on my list, who is Basil of Baker Street from the movie The Great Mouse Detective. Now, I really love Basil. I think he is such a great character. Basil is a speaking mouse character in this movie, and he takes on a sort of Sherlock Holmes sort of energy. In his movie, Basil has to solve the case of the missing toy maker, and he ends up tracing it all back to Professor Radigan. Overall, he is the leading character in his movie, and therefore we follow him through the events of his movie. But once again, this movie isn't necessarily found in the Disney parks. And so so his impact on the company is not necessarily the biggest. So although I love Basil quite a bit, to argue that he is iconic within the Disney community is a little more difficult. But that doesn't mean we can't mention him on today's list. And next we move on up to number 22 on my list, who is Todd from the movie Fox and the Hound. Now Todd is so precious and cute. Todd is the fox character of the title Fox and the Hound, and we see Todd grow up throughout this movie. We start off following his story when he is very young, when his mother passes away, and he is adopted by Widow Tweed. He eventually becomes friends with Copper, the hound in the movie, and grows up to realize that their friendship might be compromised when they take on the roles that they are supposed to take up in their lives. Overall, Todd is such a precious and cute character, and so many bad things happen to him in his movie that it's really nice to see a happy ending for him. This movie is difficult to watch, but I absolutely love this character. I think he has a heart of gold, and although he doesn't have a great park presence, seeing as the movie isn't heavily represented, he is heavily represented in my heart. I love Todd so much. There is such a big soft spot in my heart for this character. And so he's gonna go at number 22 on my list today. But next we move on up to number 21 on my list, who is the White Rabbit from Alice in Wonderland. Now the White Rabbit is a speaking White Rabbit character who is essentially the driving plot force for the main character. In the movie, the leading character, Alice, has two goals in this movie. At the beginning of the movie, it's to find out why the White Rabbit is late and to where he's going. And eventually after finding out the last 20 minutes of the movie, she wants to get out. But for the majority of the movie, the White Rabbit is the object of which we are chasing after. The White Rabbit is very cute. He dresses very human-like and carries a big pocket watch which never changes the time. And we eventually find out that he is the trumpeter, trumpeteer, the trumpet player <laughs> for the Queen's Court. So while he is the driving point of the plot, he himself doesn't have the most screen time in this movie, which is why he isn't any higher on this list, but I really do love this character. And as for his impact on the Walt Disney Company, he has appeared as a fur character in the parks before, and he's also relatively well represented as Alice in Wonderland itself is very heavily present within the parks. And so we'll see him pop up every once in a while here and there, when he's not late for a very important date, that is. But with that, we have reached the top 20 on today's list. I am so excited to get into these animal characters that I really, really like. So with that, we're gonna move on up to number 20 on my list, who is the character Maid Marian from the movie Robin Hood. Now, Maid Marian is a speaking fox character, and we find out very early on in the movie that she is in love with Robin Hood. We come to understand that there was a romance between them. However, certain life circumstances did separate them, and they're wondering if those flames are still there. Well, as the movie goes on, we find out that they are, and Maid Marian and Robin Hood rekindle their relationship. Oh, these two are so cute. I love these characters, and Maid Marian not only appeared in my ranking Disney heroines video, but also in my ranking Disney couples video. I absolutely love her as a character. I think she is so sweet. And I'll be honest, she doesn't have a high park presence seeing as Robin Hood as a movie isn't necessarily put into the Disney parks a lot. But I really wish we did get to see a lot more of her as I think she is a very sweet character with a really big heart. But with that, we move on up to number 19 on my list, who is another adorable character that I'm so excited to talk about 
who is Thumper from the movie Bambi. Oh, what can I not say about adorable little Thumper? Thumper is a speaking bunny character from the movie, and he is essentially the best friend of the titular character. Thumper is named for his pattering foot, and while some of the things he says in this movie aren't the kindest, it is because he is a little child character, and it's really sweet to get to see him grow up alongside our titular character. I love Thumper so much, and even though he doesn't have the biggest impact on his movie or the biggest impact on the Disney company, he is so, so cute. Yes, I love Thumper, have nothing bad to say about him, and I wish we only got to see more of him in the Disney parks. But next we move on up to number 18 on my list, who is the character Winnie the Pooh from the movie The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh. I love Pooh Bear. I think he is such a cute character. What I love about him is he truly is kind to everyone he meets. Winnie the Pooh is technically a speaking bear character, although he technically is a plush bear. Winnie the Pooh has many different friends in his movie, and he is loving and accepting of all of them, through all of their strengths and all of their flaws. Winnie the Pooh's character design is so unique and special, and you instantly know who the character is upon seeing his colors. He is not only the main character of his movie, but also his movie franchise, as there are many Winnie the Pooh sequels that we are going to be talking about later on this YouTube channel. And as for his park presence, he has a full ride in the Magic Kingdom, and often appears as a meet and greet character not only in the Magic Kingdom, but also over in Epcot in the UK pavilion. I love Winnie the Pooh. I think he is so sweet, so special, and he definitely deserves this high placement on today's list. But with that, we'll move on up to number 17 on my list, who is Donald Duck from the movie The Three Caballeros. And yes, this Fab Five or Sensational Six character is actually one of the leads of an animated Disney movie. Donald Duck finds himself in a trio of mariachi performers along with Panchito and Jose Carioca. And not only is he iconic in his movie, but also for the Walt Disney Company. He is a part of the group The Sensational Six who is grouped alongside Mickey Mouse himself. And although he is an iconic duck, he does have some trouble with the English language. It's often quite difficult to understand him. But don't tell him that, otherwise his temper will go through the roof. <laughs> I love this duck so much. He is so iconic. I love getting to see him every time I visit the Disney parks. And he definitely deserves a place in the top half of today's ranked list. But with that, we'll move on up to number 16 on my list, who is Miss Bianca from The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under. Now, Miss Bianca is a speaking mouse character, and she has a heart of gold. Miss Bianca, along with her other mouse partner, who we're going to be speaking about in just a second, finds herself on an expedition to save not only the character of Penny in the first Rescuers, but also the character of Cody in the sequel. Miss Bianca is so brave and so loyal, and she can truly withstand any hardship that is thrown at her. She is central in the plots of her movies, and I truly think that she is such an iconic character. The only thing is we don't really see a lot of park presence for her. The Rescuers are such great movies, and I really wish that they were just brought out a little bit more into the Disney parks. But yeah, Miss Bianca is going to be at number 16, and with that we're going to move on up to number 15 on my list, who is Bernard, also from The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under. Now Bernard is also a speaking mouse character, and he is partnered up with Miss Bianca. While they are romantic in the first movie, in the second movie they end up getting engaged. They are super cute, super special, and very heroic for saving two children between their two movies. And while I will say that Miss Bianca has a more level head on her shoulders, I do think Bernard's bumblingness is actually a big factor to his cuteness, which is why he ranks just above Miss Bianca, but I honestly love these two so, so much, and I believe that they deserve even more love within the Disney community. But next we move on up to number 14 on my list, who is the Tramp from the movie Lady and the Tramp. I love the Tramp. I love this character. I think he is so unique amongst the Disney canon, as he is a puppy scorned. Tramp is a speaking dog character who finds himself living out on the streets. He is not interested in tying himself down to one particular family, but rather surviving on the streets by belonging to different families each night of the week. When the other titular character of this movie finds herself in trouble, Tramp is there to help her, although sometimes he can get her into trouble, which is why he's a little bit lower than she's going to be on this list. But overall, I really do like this character, and the effect that he has on the plot is not only undeniable, but also very enjoyable to witness. And as for his impact on the Walt Disney Company, I would argue to say he's 
quite impactful. Lady and the Tramp isn't necessarily a movie we see a lot of rides and character meet and greets for, but there is a Tony's restaurant right at the entrance to the Magic Kingdom, and inside the restaurant is a beautiful statue of the leading characters of this movie. And outside, you can even see on the ground their paw prints within a little heart. But next, we're going to move on up to number 13 on my list and also number 12 on my list, who are Perdita and Pongo from the movie 101 Dalmatians. Starting off with number 13, Perdita is a speaking dog character, and she is the mother to 15 puppies and the adopted mother of 84 puppies. <laughs> we have talked about Perdita on this channel before many times, but I just love the dedication that she has not only to rescuing her own puppies, but not even hesitating to take on a bunch of other stolen puppies to rescue them from Cruella de Vil. Pongo, who is number 12 on this list and is also a speaking Dalmatian character, has the same goals as Perdita and works alongside her in order to achieve this. And the only reason that he ranks a little bit higher than her is that he brought the two of them together as he set up Roger and Anita to end up running into each other in the park. I love these Dalmatians. I not only think they are wonderful parents, but also incredible heroes within their Disney movie. And again, in using this channel, I definitely want to give them the recognition that they deserve because I love these characters. But with that, we're going to move on up to number 11 on my list, who is the character Robin Hood from the movie Robin Hood. Now, speaking of heroes, Robin Hood is nothing short of one. Robin Hood is a speaking fox character, and he is the main hero of Nottingham. In his story, he steals from the rich to give to the poor alongside his partner, Little John, and he is also the love interest of Maid Marian. Robin Hood is selfless, he is loyal, he is compassionate, and he is kind. I think he is such a wonderful leading character in his movie. And what I love about him as a character is that there really isn't a dull moment of screen time that he has. He is always very fair to the people around him, such as Little John, and also quite dedicated to his relationship with Maid Marian. I really enjoy getting to see not only the moments of triumph from this character, but also the moments where he is able to overcome his trials and tribulations. And much like a lot of the other characters on this list, he doesn't have the highest park presence, but I truly believe that this is one character that definitely deserves it. I'm sure I'm not the only one, but in the future I would love to see an entire area of the park turned into not him, and to have Robin Hood and his friends walking around as true meet and greet characters. I think this would be such a fun experience. There are definitely some cool rides that could come from this incorporation, whether that be a dark ride of the movie plot or a slingshot-esque ride, much like Robin Hood's bow and arrow. Overall, I really just think Robin Hood is underutilized by the company, and I actually think it's a very strong story for one that's not necessarily recognized a lot. Ooh, and if I talked a lot about number 11, we still have 10 characters to go. But yes, with that, we've reached the top 10 of today's list. So if you have any guesses as to who is going to be in the remainder of the list, make sure to leave it down below in the comments. But with that, we're going to head into number 10 on my list, who is the character Bagheera from the movie The Jungle Book. Now, Bagheera is a speaking panther character who, in all honesty, is the first character that we meet in this movie. He is the character that ends up bringing the infant Mowgli to the wolves to be raised. He often oversees Mowgli and acts as a very responsible parental figure over Mowgli. He is protective over him and always cautious, especially when Shere Khan comes into the picture. And while he often can seem like a stick in the mud, especially when Baloo is around having a bunch of fun with Mowgli, I really do think Bagheera has such a level head on his shoulders and is a very big reason as to why Mowgli was able to survive in the jungle. Now, seeing as he is a panther character, he is a lot more difficult to translate into a fur character for the Disney parks. And so he really doesn't have a lot of park presence, but I really do love this character. I think the plot is so heavily influenced by a a lot of things that Bagheera does. And in all honesty, this movie might not have had the happy ending that it does have if Bagheera weren't in the picture. And yeah, Bagheera deals with a lot in this movie, so I'm definitely going to give him the recognition in the top 10 that he deserves. <laughs> but with that, we'll move on up to number 9 on my list, another character that I'm so excited to talk about, who is Nala from the movie The Lion King. Now, Nala is a speaking lioness and also the queen of the Pride Lands. Now, what I absolutely love about Nala as a character is that we get to see her grow up from when she's very young into the confident adult lioness that we see later in the movie. We see Nala start out the movie as very good friends to 
the other lion character in this movie who we're going to talk about very shortly. And eventually, when they are reunited as adults, she ends up falling in love with him. And by marrying him and having a child with him, she ends up as the queen of the Pride Lands. What I love about Nala is that she has a very strong moral compass. She truly cares about her partner, but also the people that she has left behind in the Pride Lands. She has every intention of going back and rescuing them from Scar. And while she doesn't necessarily have the biggest impact herself within the Walt Disney Company, her songs are very impactful to the company, as they are sung every day at the Festival of the Lion King, and also appear very frequently within the nighttime spectaculars. I love Nala, she is such a strong character, I love her so so dearly, and I only hope we get to see more of her within the Disney parks in the future. Next we move on up to number 8 on my list, who is definitely an obscure character, but one that I absolutely could not leave off of this list. At number 8, is Mr. Toad from The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. I love Mr. Toad. He is such a wacky and zany character. Mr. Toad is the leading character of one of the two stories told within this movie. We unfortunately can't include Ichabod on this list because he is a human character, but we are definitely going to talk about Mr. Toad. Mr. Toad is a speaking Toad character who is very known for having different manias, otherwise known as fixations on a certain thing for a certain amount of time, and then his attention will very quickly switch. These fixations often become more than just a passion and honestly become an obsession for him. At the beginning of his movie, we see him obsessing over a motor vehicle as he is riding along on his cart. He very quickly barters his house away in order to obtain one of these cars but unfortunately it's a stolen car and so he finds himself in prison. He eventually breaks out of jail and clears his good name, and this entire movie is absolutely crazy from start to finish, but I absolutely love it. Mr. Toad is honestly a one-off character. He is unlike any other character in all of the Disney canon, and he is so fun and entertaining. And in all honesty, he really does have a pretty big park presence, as over in the Disneyland Resort in the Disneyland Park, he has his own ride, which is Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. His ride also used to be over in the Magic Kingdom in Disney World, however it was replaced with the many adventures of Winnie the Pooh. But if you look very closely in Owl's house, you can see Mr. Toad handing the deed over to Owl. I love this character so much, I wish he got so much more representation within the parks. But I just love him and could not make a leading animals character without including this adorable little toad. But next we move on up to number 7 on my list, who is Timothy Q. Mouse from the movie Dumbo. Now Timothy Q. Mouse is so sweet and so kind to his leading friend. Timothy Q. Mouse is a speaking mouse character, and though while he is a side character to the leading character in this movie, he does end up being the voice for the leading character. Often making sure our leading character, who I keep saying because we're going to talk about him very shortly, is very silent, and so Timothy ends up speaking up for him in moments where he's unable to. Timothy Mouse becomes a very important part of the plot in this movie, and I honestly really love this character. You come to really love him because he stands up for what's right and always protects his friend. And although you may not think this mouse has the most park presence, he is actually in the parks every single day. As when you walk by the ride Dumbo the Flying Elephants up on the top of the spinner, you can actually see Timothy Q. Mouse every single day, watching over not only park guests, but also keeping an eye on his best friend. I love Timothy Q. Mouse, he is so protective and sweet, and he could not land any lower on today's list. But next we move on up to number 6 on my list, who is Simba from The Lion King. Simba is also such an incredible character who has so much depth and we get to see so much of his life within his story. Simba is a speaking lion character and he eventually succeeds his father and defeats his evil uncle to take his rightful place as the king of the Pride Lands and to also become the love interest to Nala who we've already spoken about on this list. We see Simba start off as a very unruly child, wanting to become king very quickly, but having none of the knowledge to do so. Eventually, he grows up throughout the story and sees his father pass away right before his eyes, and he runs away, believing it is all of his fault. Eventually, Nala comes back into his life and convinces him to come back and face his evil uncle in order to take his rightful place. And with the help of his friends, he is able to do so and restore peace to the Pride Lands. I absolutely love this character. I think Simba is so important important within the Disney canon, and he is not only a wonderful character, but also a wonderful father to Princess Kiara, who we learn about in The Lion King 2, of which I now have a full video ranking all of Disney's animated sequels, which I will link up above in case you are interested. But with that, we've reached the top five of today's list. Are you excited? I know I certainly am. At number five on today's list, 
<laughs> is Stitch from the movie Lilo and Stitch. Now I know you could technically argue that he's not an animal, but in all honesty, I just think he's the strangest looking dog that Hawaii has ever seen. <laughs> Stitch is a speaking alien character, and although technically not an animal, he definitely serves the purpose of an animal and also a pet within his movie. Stitch is definitely a wild child. He is absolutely crazy and zany, and we absolutely love him for it. Stitch is an alien who ends up escaping and landing on planet Earth, and who becomes adopted by Lilo and her older sister Nani. Lilo and Stitch grow very close together, and it is so fun getting to see them create such a wonderful relationship. And while you may not believe that Stitch is really worthy of today's list as he's not an animal, I am definitely going to include him because he is so iconic within the Disney company. Stitch is not only a meet and greet character within the Disney company, but also very heavily used in marketing and merchandise. He is so popular and such an iconic character for the company that I could not help but include him on today's list. I wasn't about to include him in a humans video, so where else was I going to put him? <laughs> But yes, I absolutely love Stitch, and he absolutely deserves a spot in the top five on today's list. But next we move on up to number four on my list, who is Lady from the movie Lady and the Tramp. Now Lady is another very wonderful character that I absolutely love. Lady is a speaking dog character who we follow throughout the events of Lady and the Tramp. We begin the story with her when she is a little puppy and she is so cute and adorable. We see her first night in the home of Jim Deere and Darling, and we eventually jump a few months later to when she is a little bit more grown up. When Jim Deere and Darling go away and Aunt Sarah has to take over taking care of Lady, she escapes the house and eventually meets up with Tramp and creates a wonderful friendship and an eventual relationship with him. It is so wonderful getting to see these two characters reconnect, but the reason why Lady has such a high placement on today's list is that she truly transforms the life of the tramp. She shows him what is really important in life and eventually brings him into her own home. She welcomes him with open arms and as does the rest of her family. I think Lady is such a sweet and endearing character. I think she also, much like a lot of other characters on this list, has a heart of gold. And while I do wish we got to see more of her within the Disney parks, she does have very high representation as she appears with the Tramp in the Tony's restaurant within Magic Kingdom. I absolutely love Lady and I think she is one of the sweetest puppies in all of the Disney canon. But next we move on up to number three on my list, who is Jiminy Cricket from the movie Pinocchio. Now Jiminy Cricket is a speaking cricket character who is given the task of becoming Pinocchio's conscience by the Blue Fairy. Jiminy Cricket, although sometimes acting in his own benefit, does truly learn to care about Pinocchio and to help him along his journey. The two of them go through some truly crazy events in this movie, but all the while Jiminy remains faithful and loyal to his friend. Jiminy Cricket has essentially become a minor mascot to the Walt Disney Company, and his song, When You Wish Upon a Star, pretty much is the main song that Disney uses in all of their marketing and to open every single animated movie that they have. This character is undeniably iconic within the Disney canon, but also has a wonderful role within his own animated movie. I love Jiminy Cricket, he is so iconic, and I love how much he loves and cares for Pinocchio. Next we're moving on up to number two on my list, and I had a lot of trouble placing these final two characters. I couldn't really decide who I loved more, but in the end, I made a decision. At number two on my list is the character Bambi from the movie Bambi. Now Bambi is such a sweet character. I love him so much. Bambi is a speaking deer character, and we follow him throughout the events of Bambi. We see him growing up with the loving care of his mother and surrounded by a truly wonderful group of friends, including Thumper and Flower. Halfway through the movie, a truly tragic event happens, probably one of the most tragic in any Disney movie, where his mother saves him from a hunter, but unfortunately, she does not live. Bambi then is taken care of by the Prince of the Forest, who is his father, and grows up to take over over that leadership position, taking care of the forest around him. Bambi is truly such a tragic story and is very sad to visit and rewatch. But this character is so sweet, so courageous, and has such an optimistic view of the world for having dealt with so much in his life. He is a wonderful role model to continue staying positive when things are difficult. And he's also an absolutely adorable character, like you just want to give him the biggest hug and tell him everything is going to be okay. Yes, I love Bambi, I have absolutely nothing bad to say about him. And again, I only wish he got a little bit more representation within the parks, but I understand why he doesn't because 
Disney's all about the happy moments, and this movie doesn't really have a lot of those. <laughs> but his song, April Showers, does appear in Fantasmic, the Nighttime Spectacular, so he is represented at some point within the parks, which I am quite happy about. But with that, friends, we have reached number one on my list of favorite Disney leading animal characters. Have you possibly guessed who it could be? Yes, at number one on my list is Dumbo the Flying Elephant from the movie Dumbo. I love Dumbo with every ounce of my heart. He is so unbelievably cute. And the reason why he ranks at number one is that he has such an emotional pull over everyone that watches his movie, and yet he doesn't speak a single line in his movie. In his movie, he is a baby elephant who is just being delivered to his mother, Mrs. Jumbo. When he is unwrapped from his bundle, he is found out to have very oversized ears, which unfortunately he is made fun of by the elephant pack. And when he is defended by his mother, she is chained and locked up by the ringmaster. Dumbo then has to figure out what his role in the circus is going to be and how he's going to be reunited with his mother. And he does this with the help of Timothy Q. Mouse. Dumbo often isn't able to advocate for himself as he is so young and also unable to speak, which is why Timothy ranked so high because he often speaks up and defends his friend. Dumbo also has one of the most emotionally heart-wrenching scenes in any Disney movie, which is the song Baby Mine. Mrs. Jumbo is locked away within a cage, but her trunk comes out and she is able to spend time with her baby. Dumbo is so sweet, so precious, and truly is one of those characters that anybody watching just wants to protect at all costs. I love Dumbo. He is present every single day within my room as a collectible statue. And although he doesn't appear as a meet and greet character, he can be seen every single day in the Festival of Fantasy Parade within the final segment, and also has his own ride, which is Dumbo the Flying Elephants, on which you can board a Dumbo ride vehicle and fly with this iconic flying elephant. Oh, how I love Dumbo so much, and I absolutely feel confident in ranking him at number one on my list of leading animal Disney characters. Whew. And with all of that, friends, we have ranked 35 of Disney's most iconic animal characters. Thank you so much for joining me today. I had so much fun talking about all of these wonderful characters. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like and subscribe down below so that way you never miss out on magic from me. And also leave down in the comments who is your favorite iconic leading animal character in a Disney movie. I am so excited to hear all of your thoughts on my list down below, but also to hear all of your thoughts on these characters as well. If you liked today's video, I'm also going to leave a link up to a full ranking playlist, which includes all of my Disney ranking favorites in case you want to explore more of my favorite Disney characters in different topics. And if you'd like to find me on any of my other social medias, my handle is at Nikki Mara with two Y's and two R's. And you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, and YouTube. Again, thank you so much for watching. I truly love making these videos so much, and it is so wonderful getting to see so many of you down in the comments. I love getting to connect with all of you about Disney, and it is so magical that we have this wonderful platform and this wonderful space on this channel to do so. So with that, I'll say thank you again so much. Enjoy the rest of your week, stay magical, and I'll see you all real soon.